Hallelujah. Glory, glory. And so here he's showing us the original plan for his come, kingdom to come. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I want you to say this with me. He's the same yesterday. Say yesterday. 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 Today. Today. And forever. And forever. Don't forget that. So in other words, God did not deviate from original plan. He never did. He didn't fall off the throne when, when Adam messed up. He, didn't, he, he just did not. Amen? He's never got off course. God get off course. God lose control. There's no possible way. And so now here Jesus comes back and he's saying, I'm teaching you guys how to pray for the kingdom of God, the rule, the reign, the authority to come, the realm of heaven to come on earth just like it is in heaven. Say, just like in heaven. Just like in heaven. Hallelujah. So now if we can see this is the original plan, let's go and look at the original plan just a minute. All right? So I want you to go to one, uh, uh, Genesis 1. Now, if I, when, I, when I get to stuttering, it's because I'm getting downloads and, I, I'm, and, and I'm trying to catch. And every time I start preaching on this, um, I keep getting more and more. So, glory. Hallelujah. I love that re revelation. Uh, Genesis chapter 1 says, uh, verse 26. Now, now remember, remember Holy Spirit in the beginning. This is important because I'm going to take you some scriptures in just a little bit. In, in the beginning was the Father, uh, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit was hovering over, think about this, a chaotic, dark, no order. Did that, did that describe anything? Yeah. Did it sound kind of like Isaiah chapter 60, didn't it? No. Darkness, no order, no form. You look all the original language, suffering, all this. Now, enemy's already been kicked out of heaven. He's there. Okay. He's there waiting. Amen? He's there waiting. And, and, and now Holy Spirit's sitting there and hovering like this. And he is so hovering over the church right now, I can't tell you how much he's hovering over the church. He's hovering over the church, waiting, anticipating, desiring, glory to God, to deliver. Amen? He's waiting. He's waiting for a word to come out of the mouth of God. Okay. <sighs> word to come out of the mouth of God. A word of permission left. Oh. The minute the word left the mouth of God, Holy Spirit started creating that come word on. out of the mouth of God. Come on. You know, there's words just floating around everywhere right now. Hallelujah. That's why there's so much power in your word, in your in the power, life and death in your word. And, and, and so now he starts creation, he starts creating, he starts putting order, starts putting form, starts putting, getting the chaos, starts getting it all. And now he says, on, on day six, he says, verse 26, then God said, say God said. God said. Okay, please get this. There's, I, I can't get off of this. It's trip. I, I, I spoke of this a little bit last night. I can't get off of it. There's, there, it, there's the words really on this right now. He's wanting to deposit it in your spirit. Remember this. God always says, and then he does it. Amen. He can do it any way he wants, but he chose to do it through his word. Amen? Right. And so... At this point in time, in the beginning, God's using his own vocal cords. Amen? In other words, this is good, he hasn't created any human vocal cords yet. So he speaks uh, a word, and when he speaks a word, Holy Spirit brings it about. So here he is with the Father and, the, and, and Jesus the Word and Holy, and Holy Spirit's here. And he says, then God said after he created and brought order in it, now he says, let us make man in our image, he says. Let us make man in our image, in the image of God. You were made in the image of God. Amen. All right? Made in the image of God. Let us make man in the image of God. He created him, male and female, created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Very important you understand that. Subdue it. Amen. 
and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over everything, living thing, that moves on the earth. And I love it because he said, he looked at everything that he made, and he said, that's good. But when he came to man, he said, this is really good. This is very good. Amen. Amen. He says, he's made man in his image, could have made man in any other, in, in, in any image, but instead he said, I'm going to make man in my image according to my likeness. Okay? You know, likeness is kind of like, you cannot look just like somebody, but you act just like them. Yeah. Amen? Uh, you, can, you, you, can, you can look just like them, uh, you can look just like somebody physically, but yet not have their likeness. But you can, glory to God, not look at them. Uh, Linda and I, we travel all the time, and, and, it, and, it, and it's getting to work all the time. If we're out in public, at least five times a day. And I'm not, it's really, that may be... You're not exaggerating. Not, I'm not exaggerating. And people say, uh, uh, y'all are twins, aren't you? <laughs> no, we both have short hair. Yeah. No, we're not twins, and you look at us. No, we're not. Amen? Not at all. And, but we hear that more and more and more, and we're beginning to realize it's the image and the likeness of our Father coming forth. Right. Amen. Amen. I love this. Yeah. I love this. The more of His image coming from you, and the more of His image coming from me, and the more of His image coming from you, we're going to begin to look like our daddy, and people are going to say, we know they are just like their daddy. Amen. We know who they are. We will be identified by, listen, by reflecting his image and his likeness on the earth. Yeah. Amen. You're going to be identified of being just like him. Not him, like him. Yes. Remember that. So here, now i got to share this. I'm, I'm burning with this right now. The Lord spoke this to me. I tear everywhere I go. I just absolutely, I'm just, it's like a kiss from heaven. It's just fresh, fresh, you know. And this is what the Lord spoke to me. And he said, you know, I so love man. I so love mankind. That I want them to be able to relate to what I'm like. Amen. Think about this. I want them. He literally told me, I don't want to be a burning bush. He says, I want them to relate. If you can stop and think and you can think about how many people are all bound up because of authority and they're growing up and, and being abused by authority and having the wrong image and wrong examples of authority. It's hard for many people to grab hold that God really loves them. That he is a loving God because that mind's so bound up with memories of the past. Amen. All that has to get all torn down and we have to really be convinced by the Holy Spirit how much he loves us. Our mind has to be washed with the word, washed with the word, and washed, glory to God. And some people, it takes so much longer because of so much abuse. And he says, I want to be identified in the natural realm. Yes, yes. Natural realm. Amen. What? I want people to be able to experience me. And now we can go get a wallet and say, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to show you in just a minute. I told you I was going to bring these. If you can't get it through me, you can't get it. I'm telling you. Do that And so he says, I want to be identified. I want to be able to be experienced. I want to be able to be seen. How can that be? I want my image, I want my likeness to be seen. So I'm going to create a human body, a flesh body, a temple, a tabernacle. Did you know you're the temple of the Holy Spirit? If you're born again? A, 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 a housing to carry my spirit, which is my likeness. My spirit demonstrates my likeness. Amen? And so I'm going to create man and woman, and I'm going to put my spirit into them, and now he creates Adam and Eve, and they have no sin. Remember that. None whatsoever. They didn't know what sin was. God always wanted us to live not guilty and not, not, not uh, uh, all the time feeling like he's ready to knock us off the earth. And he never wanted us to be like that. He wanted us to be to where glory we were free and knew he wasn't angry with us. Amen? And, 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 and there's the enemy just waiting. 
So the enemy seduces man, the tabernacle, carrying the Spirit of God. And he seduces him. And when he seduces him, he opened the avenue for a sin nature to come in. God's not going to share with sin nature. Amen? You remember that? Okay, now, I want you just to stay right there just a second and go to Psalms 115 just for a minute. Hang on. If you were with us last night, try to stay here just a second. It's going to get better. Yeah. Psalms 115, 16 says, I always used to read over this real quick because I didn't understand it. The heaven, even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Hmm. So see, God wants to be related to so he says, I'm going to build, I'm going to put earth, I'm going to, I'm going to create earth. And he says, and then I'm going, to put, I'm going to put my creation there, and I'm going to put my breath and my spirit in, 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 in man. And he says, now as I am ruler in heaven, I'm going to give man the job to rule on earth. Amen. With my spirit in them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, and so he blessed them and sent them out to be, to multiply and to subdue the earth. Guess what overcome means in chapter 12 of Revelation. Revelation chapter, chapter 12. They shall overcome by the word of the Lamb and, and, the, and, and the word of their testimony. You know what it means? The same exact, same exact definition of the original language as man was subdued in dominion. Exact. He's speaking of the end time church. All the way. Spoke it in Genesis, in Genesis uh, uh, in, uh, chapter 1 and goes all the way to the end of the book and Revelations chapter 12 with an end time church that would be subduing the earth. Amen. See, church, we're not supposed to, we've been whipped around. We have, uh, the devil's eating my lunch, popping the sack, and uh, he's just doing this, and he's just robbed, and he's stolen, and he just whipped me down, and I'm so tired, and we're just barely making it, and life is so rough, and so, and you're the governors of the earth. Amen. You just hadn't realized it. He gave you the title deed. Amen. The people called by my name. Amen. I'll heal their land. There's your title deed. And yet he created so that on earth his creation would rule and would reflect how he rules. His creation would reflect glory to God, the great I am. His, his creation would show the likeness, the character, the love, the, 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 uh, um, uh, the power, the governing power. Everything about God. His creation now was put here, glory to God, to be reflecting, to be reflecting. In our image according to our likeness. Amen. Amen. I want to be seen. Oh, I just can't hardly wait to pull something out just a minute. Amen. And so now, glory to God, he's showing us that he created heaven, glory to God. The heavens are his. Yes, even the heavens are Lord's. But now the earth he created. I just, I love to sit and just say, Lord, you know, I think about just how, well, though when she's talking about, uh, and I get things from heaven and, and, and try to create them. And I always thank the Lord uh, that Jesus and the Father are sitting there saying, isn't that the cutest thing she ever, you ever saw? <laughs> Look at us, all that gold, that gold of May she's got all over. Wait till she gets here. <laughs> you know, in that, look at her. She's working so hard. Let's go down and, and just release our power all over those people. They've just created an atmosphere. She's trying to show what she saw. Amen. Amen. It's about like a, um, a two day old baby trying to, to, to build something that they saw in heaven. Yeah, really. Amen. But, but he honors that. Amen. He honors that glory to God. And he wants us to understand that. He's created this while the enemy is backing us up and while, while the enemy has been, been ripping us off and stealing from us and selling us out. We've been down here rolling in the floor and think we know his original plan. Yeah. Amen? We think we really know. I mean, we finally got to the place, glory to God, that we're not feeling guilty. Well, you're not getting there just, just for that. You're getting there to go to the next place and the next place and the next place. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And so here he's showing, glory to God, that I, what, what, what I was saying is he, he I, 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 I was asking him how it must be, glory to God, of what you must think. And he says, you know how much you love to be used by God and see people's lives change? I said, yes, Lord. He said, and you know what's greater than that? What's the, what is greater than you being? I said, my kids. My kids being used by God. Amen. And he said, exactly. 
said, I could have I could have done away with him already. He could have been bound to the pit of eternity for eternity already. But instead, I created her and said, you know what? <laughs> instead, I'm gonna show what I'm like. I'm going to let my kids knock him around for a while. Amen. Oh, we need to get that. God, I, you, he, he wants us knocking the devil around. Amen? I mean, see, dominion means and subdue means to bring in subjection, to bring into captivity by force. Hmm. It means that we're supposed to be here governing with the Holy Ghost and bringing the government of heaven on this earth. And we're supposed to be giving the devil a hard time and binding him and bringing him into captivity. God set us free from captivity, glory to God. We were never supposed to be in captivity in the first place. Amen. 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 So he created Adam and Eve and said, "Go." So he blessed him to go multiply and subdue. Conquer is what it means. Amen. Go conquer. Go conquer the demonic forces. Conquer. Take over. Amen? And, and then now, now the enemy seduces uh, and talks to Eve. In a, you, are you, do you, did God really say that? <laughs> well, you can believe it. If he was saying it to Eve back then and Adam, you can depend on it. He's going to say it to you about this kingdom message. Yes. Come on. Are you sure? Isn't that too far? Yeah. That's a little too far, isn't it? No, we hadn't even got there yet. <laughs> we hadn't gone far enough. I mean, and so, so they lose that image according to his likeness. Adam lost it. Adam and he lost it. It's lost. Now, now the enemy has the keys, the ruling authority of the earth. Amen. See, right now he's operating illegally. You understand that? Just like some other people in our nation. Come on. <laughs> Just like some other people yeah. in, our, in the government yeah. that is up there illegally. Yeah. Listen, know this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, he has been he has been duping us because he doesn't have the keys to the earth anymore. Yeah. Jesus took them. Amen. Yeah. I mean, and so now he leaves. The Lord cast him out of the garden. Puts the angels there and won't let him back in. Let them back in because if they come back in and eat that tree of, of, of uh, eternal life, it, the plan then would have been broken, mm. lost. But God didn't let the plan be lost. So throughout all these years, are y'all with me? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So after all these years, now God's plan is still in action. Amen. Prophesies. He speaks of another that would come. A second Adam. He speaks and he prophesies it for years. Those words are going out. He's proclaiming it. He's putting. He's speaking it out into existence. And then he comes one day to a little young woman, and he sends an angel. Now the angel is the vocal cord. Okay. The angels. It's still God's word, baby. If you speak it, and it's God's word. It's still God's word. Amen. So now the angel has gotten a word from God. And now this messenger comes, Gabriel, to, to a, 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 a young woman named Mary. And he speaks a word. And he says, you shall bring forth. Amen. God's saying that about you. You shall, remember the image according to his likeness is lost. All the way back in the, in the garden. And he says, you shall bring forth a male child, shall be the son of God. His name shall be Emmanuel, and he shall be God. Uh, he, he shall be among us. Now listen, and then it goes on and talks about how he'll rule. Remember that. And, and, and so what happens is he speaks a word, and that word is planted into Mary's womb, her heart. Just exactly like an egg would be planted in a woman. Do you know this is cool? Do you know that women, uh, little girls, when they're born, little baby girls, they're born with all the eggs of their life yeah. right then? They're there? Wow. When you're born again, I'll just read that. And so now he says, he speaks the word. It goes in a seed, the word of God. The seed is planted. The Holy Spirit's sitting there overshadowing. What? I wonder how many years he was doing this. Or he's waiting for a word of permission to come. He plants a word 
And when Holy Spirit hears, exactly like Mary, when Holy Spirit hears, you agree with the Word of God spoken to you. When you agree with it, at that time, there is an overshadowing to the Word that has been given to you. There's an overshadowing exactly like a woman would become pregnant. The sperm of the anointing comes upon the egg or the seed, and now there is a conception. You shall conceive, he said. You're going to grasp this. There's the Holy Spirit now. Now, at that, when that word was planted down and Holy Spirit came, now there's a, there's, there's, the, uh, there's a conception that takes place. What is living in Mary's belly? The word. The word. Yes. The word. Every word God speaks is, every word God speaks is sent to a vessel that it will manifest in the natural. Yeah, these words right here. This is so simple. Can you see my words that I'm speaking right now? Can you see them? Can anybody see the words I'm speaking? God. Could you just see that word? Yes. Okay. Can you just see, anybody see the words in the natural realm, not by your spirit eyes, but in the natural realm, can any of you see the words that I'm speaking right now? No, you can't, right? You can't. But every word is spoken to create something. So oh, every word smoking, spoken out of the mouth of God has to have a visible, a visible housing for it to manifest in the natural. God doesn't just speak words to just send them out in the, in the unseen world for them to float around. There. He doesn't, he, God doesn't waste words. And so he spoke his word. He said, I'm going to house him, and I'm going to, I'm going to, and he speaks a word, he plants it, Holy Spirit's there, he's saying, I'm going to create a housing, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put my spirit, my likeness, that carries my likeness, I'm going to put my spirit back into a human body, so once again, my image according to my likeness can be seen. Y'all are looking at me kind of like a cat at a new baby. 1 Colossians 1.15 says Jesus is the image of the invisible God. Okay? Let me say it again. He is the image of the invisible God. Amen? He was the reflection of what the Father looked like. He said, Philip, have you been with me so long you don't recognize the Father? Have you been with me? He says, show me the Father. Show us the Father. Have you been with me so long? I've been among you all this time. And, and, and you haven't recognized the Father. If you don't recognize if you don't recognize the Father, then at least recognize the works I do. I'm a glove. I've come to be the housing of a glove. Give me my white glove. I'm going to see my white glove. And right. give all my other ones. I'm going to make some people put some gloves on tonight. So, so it's like this. Um, we can have an invisible word, but until it has a visible housing to manifest through, you don't, you can't relate to it. All right. Did, let me go further than that. I'm gonna give you something really deep. Let me let me tell you something a little bit further than that. Did you know you are a word spoken out of mouth, God's mouth? You. you are a manifest word spoken out of the mouth of God. Every one of you. Amen. God spoke you into existence. Amen. You're His word manifest. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was there in the beginning. Amen. Through Him all living things were created. Comes down and says, and the word... Can you hold this right here where I can? And the word, the word, the invisible word, stepped into a human body and now became flesh. Amen. And so now, invisible God, the word says he's spirit. Can you see a spirit? No, he, he's spirit. He's invisible. He says that himself. Jesus is the image of the invisible God. And now, glory to God, he has restored. Jesus is saying this. When he says it's finished, basically, hey, I've come back. The image was lost. 
The image according to the Father's likeness was lost, but our, our likeness was lost. But I've come back now and I've restored it. Amen. When you're looking at when you're looking at me, you're looking at the likeness of my Father. Amen. When you see me healing, uh, 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 when you see me re forgiving, then you're seeing what the Father's like. Pray like, 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 like this. That's right. That's right. Pray like this. That the kingdom come. Holy Spirit brings the kingdom. Holy Spirit is the power of God. Holy Spirit is the spirit of glory. Holy Spirit is the one that delivered. Jesus didn't walk into the, in the kingdom of God until Holy Spirit came upon him. When he came up out of that water, glory to God, and the Holy Ghost came upon him, remained on him, if you'll look it up, that means he filled him up. Amen. And he came inside and filled up the vacant. He came inside and filled him up just like he does us. And glory to God, now the kingdom is within you. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. What on earth does all this mean? Because you're the ruler. Do you have any oil here? Hallelujah. You're the dinky one. Oh, you got a good one. Okay. Okay, now let me show you something. Hold it just a second. And so he's saying, thy king and thy kingdom, also meaning kings, come to earth as it is in heaven. You know why we're, you know why our country, and you know why it, everything's like it is? Because we haven't known what we were supposed to be doing. That's right. Come on. We don't understand. It's not really what we're doing. It's who we are. Right. If we are, if we just be... And then it automatically comes because His Holy Spirit does it. I mean, let me say, so the Lord says, all of a sudden, He comes out of that wilderness and He says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Come over here and I want you to pour it. I'll show you. Okay, so basically we got a human body. Okay? We got a human flesh body now that a word has been manifest, has come into the housing of, all right? You see that? And now he comes, the Holy Spirit comes upon him, and watch this. Now remember, say, let me, before we do this, let me do this, okay? Yep. Right, Y'all okay? Yep. Oh, I want to hand to you. You got some? <laughs> okay, I want you to put this one on. I don't know if you can do that. Here. Just put one of these on. Okay, let me see here. Oh, yeah. uh, you put one on. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Here, how about you? And I'm just going to, whoever gets that one. Uh, okay. Now then. Okay, before, now you think about it. I want you to look at something. This is not powerful at all. We are nothing about the Spirit of God in us. Amen. Nothing. We try to whip the devil in our own strength. You mm -hmm. can forget it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I could just go beat the devil and beat the devil. I mean, it's just not hurting him at all. <laughs> Actually, it's making, we make him laugh at us. With him. You know, he's been laughing at us. We've been a limp wrist uh, church for a long time, and he's been laughing at us for a long time. As long as he can make sure, sure, sure that we don't know what we were created for, he's got it. As long as he can still convince us that he has the right to the earth. Amen. So he can keep us out of that scripture and under keep us away from and the earth was given to man. Remember, not the man by himself though, the spirit. All right, and so it's nothing, nothing. I could lay it. I'll tell you what. You could be that. It yes, God can do supernatural things, but probably this. You know, this is just not going to get you healed. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, if he healed you, it would be totally. He just did it without a glove, but he chooses. To use gloves. He chooses to use his temple mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. He chooses to use his sons and his daughters. He chose you for royalty and to rule and reign. Amen. He chose you for that. Amen. So this is nothing really. Not at all. Not powerful at all. We just flesh body. But when God, the invisible God, Hallelujah. And his nature by his spirit comes in you now. This becomes a very powerful force. Yeah, but aren't we going too far? I mean, what if we touch the glory? Okay, let me ask you something. Did you ever see anybody? This is the example God gave me. 
If you ever watch somebody clearing a lot of land, he talks my language and I like clearing land. And so do you, did, did you ever see anybody out there working real hard with those work gloves on and everything? Did you ever look at them and say, at the end of the day, did you sit there and say, man, that glove cleared a lot of land today? <laughs> wow, look what that glove did. No, you, you speak of the one that was doing it wearing the glove. Mm -hmm. Well, what if I take glory? Well, the, the, the anointing won't move through you. He knows who can handle this and who isn't. Mm. I mean, come on, stop and think about it. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of glory. You know, remember this. Always, I say this everywhere I go. The, the gifts and callings are irrevocable, but the anointing, he can lift. Yeah. And buddy, when you've known it, and then you know when it's not there, it's not funny. Yeah. Right. I mean, I am absolutely, I cannot live without the anointing. Okay, so see, see now we've got this. And, and now... Holy Spirit comes upon the glove, the temple, the human body, the Son of God. Okay? Now let's watch this. You got the oil? I don't want to get it on our floor. Well, we won't go too much. Okay? Well, we'll go enough. All right, now then, watch this. When the Spirit of the Lord is inside a human vessel, you, who did your neighbor say? She's talking about you. You wake up. You. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is what you are. You ready? That's what you are. That's what you are. Now this human body, he talks to me, glove talk. <laughs> this tabernacle, this temple, that's you. That's you, the one who brought the kingdom has moved into you. The one that brought order the first time on the earth. The one that, in the middle of all the chaos, just waited for a let it be, and all of a sudden started creating you. Do you know that you've been born again for the reason of bringing order, the order of heaven to this earth? Amen. Wow. We're trying to get order in our own life. Because the enemy has, the enemy has, has, has duped us. The enemy has convinced us that He's the one in charge. And when Jesus returns, then glory to God in the millennium will all rule and reign. And Listen, come on. What do you think the spirit of the kingdom is here for? Amen. You, that's you. That's you. 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 We're waiting. We're waiting because the enemy, he's taken us and he's paralyzed us and made sure, sure, sure we didn't know who we were. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you one more visual aid. Are y'all okay? Yes. Okay. You who have gloves, come up here just a minute. Come here, sister. I think I'm okay. I'm okay. Keep it up. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with you for a minute, all right? Hallelujah. I just did this with about 100 men, and I'm telling you what, you talk about light come on with all of us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay, so because I want you to see here something, all right? Now remember, you by yourself are nothing. You know that. You know that. But you're about to get a revelation that's going to take you to another place, I'm telling you. Amen? Uh, so... When the Holy Spirit starts, I'll never forget when I was in a vision and I was hugging the Lord and I became wet. And I stepped back and I didn't understand why I was wet. I didn't know what it was. And I looked at him and before I could say, what is this? He said, your love for me makes my oil flow. And so in the love place with him, I was being anointed. 
Mm. With, from the anointed one. With the oil of the anointed. Yeah. Thank you, you have to wait for somebody to lay hands on you to be anointed. That's right. Hallelujah. Right now, let that sink. Now, see, all of a sudden, you know, the truth of the matter is, the Lord just spoke this to me. The truth of the matter is, is when we start being moved by compassion, that oil starts flowing. Mm -hmm. Jesus was moved with compassion, Amen. and then he began to heal them. Yeah, he yes, began to right. heal them. Amen. And so, now, show them. Hallelujah. Let's do another one. Just keep it on for a little while. They all say that the men's encounter, she's got the oil out. We're fixing the bee. When we get it out on the land, we get it out. <laughs> okay, now I want y'all to keep these on for a minute, okay? Just keep them on a little while, all right? All right. Jesus. I got the reason for it. Okay, the message was so important for the kingdom. You can sit back down. I'll get you in there. The, the message was so important for us to know the kingdom. Because the kingdom, the mystery of the kingdom would reveal what Jesus returned back to the earth. Amen. When he said it was finished, it was more than just our eternal salvation. He had restored back the image according to the likeness of God. Very important that we understand that. That's who you are. You have a housing Glory to God. So God can demonstrate, manifest, and reflect who He is and what He's like. Amen? A, a kingdom of, of, of kings and priests that are kings of love. So they demonstrate. And when this glove is showing love, then the God of love is being, is being reflected on the earth. When this 